Impington Village College is an international baccalaureate world school um, and a part of the ethos of the International Baccalaureate, the IB, um, is a real focus on um, being internationally minded. Um, so we have worked for many years um, with schools uh, all over the world um, and we've had some really exciting and creative um, partnerships. But we were very aware um, that the opportunities that our students had um, to uh, travel overseas and to go and visit our partner schools um, are always limited by, you know, the sort of the, the, the practical um, financing. Um, and so two things really because of that and because we already had that background, we decided to apply, but also because we are implementing the International Baccalaureate Middle Years Programme. So what we really wanted to do was to be able to broaden the access um, that our, our students had to travel. We were uh, we were very ambitious um, in our approach, and what what we did first of all was we um, we we put a question out to our staff um, to ask them what they felt uh, they could offer, where they would like to take students, um, where we had existing partner schools, um, and also partner schools in other places of the world that, that we felt would be really beneficial for our students. Um, so we utilised our existing connections, um, but we also looked very much to forming new partnerships. Um, the other approach we took to applying was um, we had a very heavy focus on our pupil premium students um, and other disadvantaged students, students with um, educational health and um, care plans in college um, and made sure that, that we were overtly applying um, in order to give those students, some of whom uh, needed adult carers um, on and, you know, more than one member of staff looking after them on their visits. So that was a real focus of ours as well, making sure that we were um, very explicit about the fact that we were applying for funding specifically to give a really broad um, uh, basis of our students the opportunity. Sure. So um, our, the, the funding that, that we were granted was was massive. Um, I think it was just, just over a million pounds. Um, and as I said, we, we absolutely used it to support the widest possible access to overseas travel for the greatest number of students. So in the end, we had well over um, 800 students on fully funded visits to an enormous variety of places um, and, you know, really, um, far-flung places such as Peru, um, India and Botswana, as well as lots of, of European destinations. Um, and the funding, um, as I said, for, for students, for people, premium students and students with EHCPs um, was used to fund adult carers um, to, to keep those students safe, um, as well as supporting many, many students with passport and visa applications. Lots of our students didn't have passports um, and had never applied um, for, for visas, their travel vaccinations and, of course, endless COVID testing. I think in a word that the, the student experience was phenomenal um, and it's it's absolutely no exaggeration to say that for many, many students, it was absolutely life changing. Um, so, I mean, some of the some of the um, more far flung destinations um, like Botswana and India, um, in India, particularly, we worked with a school um, for physically disabled students um, and that was just incredible for lots of our students. Our school has um, a, a particularly high number of um, physically uh, di disabled students. So um, I think what was fascinating for our students was to see that in a completely different context. Um, and we did fundraising. So for the school in India, we fundraised, they, they wanted a tractor. Um, so we uh, managed to raise enough money to buy them a tractor. Um, in the school in Peru, for example, um, we were working on um, building a, a garden um, with an irrigation system um, so that they could they, that they can grow um, fruits and vegetables. Um, and uh, similarly, um, in Botswana, we worked on on language lessons and sports lessons. Um, so. I think for our students, the, the the fact that they were going to other schools, that they were sharing experiences, you know, of a shared world um, with other students of their own age was was just in incredibly valuable. Um, we also had um, lots of our um, visits to European countries were specifically um, for um, language learning. 
for our students, part of the international baccalaureate, um, international mindedness is this real focus on students learning a language and understanding um, that we are all, that, that we share the planet together and that other people with their differences can also be right. So being able to learn and advance their um, acquisition language in context um, was also brilliant for our students and uh, hugely um, educationally beneficial as well as you know on on all sorts of personal levels I mean I think primarily and and first of all is to be bold um you know it's I think it's such a brilliant opportunity for funding that um it's really good to 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 meet with your staff and, and to talk to them and say, right, what would we really want to give our students? You know, if we have the opportunity to allow our students to study, what do we want? Where do we want to go? I mean, it really is a, a once in a lifetime opportunity um, and experience for the students. So it's well worth not confining yourself um, to a comfort zone um, and, and thinking about you know, some places that you would go that you probably wouldn't ever be able to unless you have this kind of funding. 